Tonight we bring you text messages you were never supposed to see, suggesting two FBI employees may have tried to use a personal relationship with a federal judge, a FISA judge, to influence the investigation into the Trump presidential campaign. This comes on a day when a career FBI executive could lose his full government pension after being accused of acting on a similar bias against the president. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Harridge is here with details. Good evening, Catherine. Well, thank you, Brett. In late July 2016, after the Clinton email case closed and the FBI opened its Russia investigation, text messages indicate FBI agent Peter Strzok and FBI lawyer Lisa Page talked about exploiting Strzok's friendship with a federal judge who would later handle the prosecution of former National Security Advisor Mike Flynn. Investigators working for House Republicans Jim Jordan and Mark Meadows reviewed the original documents at the Justice Department and took notes because the copies sent to Congress were heavily redacted with key details blacked out. Texting on their work phones, the two FBI lovers suggest setting up a cocktail party with federal judge Rudolph Contreras, who also sits on the secret FISA surveillance court. On July 25, 2016, Page writes, Judge Contreras is on the fisk. Did you know that? Just appointed two months ago. Struck, I did. We talked about it before and after. I need to get together with him. Page continues, I can't imagine either one of you could talk about anything in detail meaningful enough to warrant recusal. Struck, Really? Rudy, I'm in charge of espionage for the FBI. Any espionage FISA warrants comes before him. What should he do, given his friend oversees them? After texting about an unrelated issue, Strzok writes, Contreras super thoughtful and rigorous about ethics and conflicts. M suggested a social setting with others would probably be better than a one-on-one -on -one meeting. I'm sorry, I'm just going to have to invite you to that cocktail party. Of course, you'll have to be there, have to come up with some other work people cover for action. Page, why more? Six is a perfectly fine dinner party. It's not clear from the text messages whether the cocktail party ever happened and the federal judge attended. After National Security Advisor Mike Flynn pled guilty to lying to the FBI in December, less than a week later, Contreras was removed from the case without explanation. Congressional investigators question whether there is a connection to Strzok, who also conducted Flynn's FBI interview. The newly public text messages seem to further undercut the FBI leadership's longstanding claims that the Bureau is above politics. Has the dismissal of Mr. Comey in any way impeded, interrupted, stopped, or negatively impacted any of the work, any investigation, or any th ongoing projects at the Federal Bureau of Investigations? There has been no effort to impede our investigation to date. Quite simply put, sir, you cannot stop the men and women of the FBI from doing the right thing, protecting the American people, and upholding the Constitution. A decision from the Attorney General Jeff Sessions on the fate of the former FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe you just saw there and whether he will be fired for cause impacting his pension is expected at any time, Brett. It's Friday afternoon. We will watch for any uh, releases. You bet. Catherine, thank you. You're welcome.